Hello, this is a video on the surgical technique for arthroscopic transosseous reinsertion of a posterior meniscus root tear using fiber tape and a cortical fixation with a swivel lock. Root tears are those that affect the insertion of the meniscus to the tibial plateau, whether they are anterior or posterior. Just like in any other complete radial tear, the meniscus is going to have uh, no capacity to absorb hoop stress and therefore we're going to see some uh, degenerative changes similar to those we see when uh, there is a complete uh, meniscal resection. It is probable that a lot of the spontaneous uh, osteonecrosis of the femur we see and uh, symptomatic bone edema are associated with uh, posterior uh, root tears and therefore we're going to see uh, progressive degenerative uh, changes in the medial compartment that are going to need for uh, partial uh, replacement or total knee replacement. MRI images are very obvious. When we see the axial cuts, we can see the absence of the posterior root of the medial meniscus, and this space is replaced by fluid, as we can see in the images. In the sagittal cuts, is even more obvious when we can see this um, ghost sign, this uh, lack, this absence of the posterior root of the medial meniscus, again replaced by fluid. This can be seen in T2 and obviously also in T1. And when we go to the coronal views, we can see again the absence of the posterior root of the medial meniscus. And when we move a bit further um, anteriorly, we are going to clearly see the extrusion of the meniscus. And this obviously makes the meniscus useless in terms of the biomechanical role it has in the knee. When we scope the knee, we can see there is actually a stump in the posterior root of the medial meniscus and there is no continuity between the posterior horn and the uh, tibial plateau. The mid prognosis of this uh, lesion is not very good with a high percentage of patients needing a joint replacement and obviously uh, meniscal debridement and arthroscopic meniscectomy uh, doesn't improve the uh, mid-term prognosis of this lesion. On the other hand, performing a reinsertion of this uh, lesion and uh, trying to restore knee biomechanics could improve not only uh, clinical symptoms but probably also um, the prognosis and uh, joint degeneration on the mid-term. We have been using the arthroscopic reinsertion technique described by Dr. Laprade with a transosseous reinsertion drilling from the contralateral side and using braided sutures in different configurations. Um, we found that this technique might have some uh, disadvantages, especially in terms of uh, pull out of the sutures through the tissue that sometimes is not a very good tissue and also maybe uh, the uh, reproducibility I would say of cortical fixation over a button tying over a button might not be so uh, so sure so secure. Other authors have already proposed using uh, tape instead of braided sutures for the reinsertion of the posterior root of the medial meniscus. We have been using this technique lately and we have applied uh, different uh, modifications to this to this technique. We performed the surgery with the patient uh, with the knee held in a, in a knee holder and the contralateral leg held in abduction. We perform a knee scope and we can see right away this is a left knee that we have a, a complete uh, desinsertion of the uh, posterior root of the medial meniscus. Um, with a with a very clear stump, uh, a tissue stump. We we use a cannula, and this is, could be a, a, a hard cannula, or it can also uh, we can also use uh, a silicone uh, cannula, uh, different cannulas, and this is going to help in in terms of suture management. We use a Scorpio, a meniscal Scorpio, uh, uh, to perform the uh, passing of the of the sutures around the, the posterior horn of the medial meniscus. We use a fiber tape, we switch the, 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 the suture to a fiber tape and we're going to do six different passes through the posterior horn of the medial meniscus as you can see in the images and this will probably give us a, a better purchase of the tissue and is going to probably uh, improve uh, the pull-out strength of our, uh, of our sutures on the posterior horn of the medial meniscus. It is obviously a bit bothersome in terms of suture management, but uh, we, we can 
uh, obtain a very good purchase of the tissue using tape that we know have uh, has a, a higher pullout strength. And this is the final view with six different passes and a very good purchase on the posterior horn of the medial meniscus. We now use uh, an ATL guide with uh, th there are specific guides and different guides you can use uh, that w with which with you're comfortable with. And we drill from the contralateral side just to have a better uh, orientation of the reinsertion. We use a, a flip cutter to perform a socket around eight millimeters in depth and a uh, um, um, uh, we use a passing uh, suture to pull the, 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 the tape down through the transosseous tunnel and as you can see um, we can reduce very nicely the, 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 the root. We don't use any more, uh, we, we don't use a, a cortical button but you use a swivel lock device to obtain a proper and secure and more reliable uh, tension on the on the fixation and this is the final view with a very nice reduction and a very nice uh, reinsertion of the posterior root of the medial meniscus thanks very much uh, muchas gracias hope you enjoy the video